Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at the T-Rex bus compressor, uh, and you can try this uh, for free for three days, uh, 72 hours, that is, uh, if you go to the custom shop and you download T-Rex custom shop. Um, and yeah, like I said, we're looking at uh, the bus compressor. Uh, this is an emulation of the SSL uh, G-Series compressor, uh, and it's basically the sound of the 80s. Um, these, these are my favorite kinds of compressors of the VCA type uh, and generally we're going to be looking at some audio and uh, I'll be explaining briefly uh, what it's doing uh, so uh, layout you know typical uh, the ratio uh, added uh, 1.5 ratio if they added one it wouldn't do anything a one to one ratio doesn't do anything uh, generally if you want to push things harder you would bump it up to 10 uh, but uh, 2 to 4 is generally what you'd be, you know, looking at. Uh, attack times super duper fast. Attack time, uh, one tenth of a millisecond, pretty good. If you want to squash some things, uh, typical of uh, these type of compressors. Uh, added side chain in, so basically the detection circuit it cancels out all the low end, so you don't get. Um, you don't get uh, the low end of the bass triggering the the compression uh, and all that fun stuff. Uh, threshold and makeup two big knobs right there where you need them because these are the two that you'll be fiddling. Uh, grit, I like that. It adds a subtle bit of harmonic distortion uh, to your sound and uh, the compression in. That means you turn it on. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, take a look at some audio. I have a drum loop that I've made using the Abbey Road uh, contact, the Abbey Road contact instrument, and uh, here we go. I, ju I just wanted to make some kind of clean. Looks kind of boring, but this is a perfect example. Uh, so I will uh, play that and turn the compressor on. Right, and already there's a kind of an effect uh, of your gain reduction. Uh, typically, for those uh, just starting out, I would bring the threshold down, and uh, I would figure out what uh, attack, what the attack is doing, because an attack of uh, one tenth of a millisecond, it's really squashing it. Uh, but if you uh, decrease the attack, or I guess you would increase it, it will uh, preserve the transients of the snare and the kick. The, the part from quiet to loud, it will preserve. And this is how you get punchiness. Imagine that. I like a good solid one millisecond, usually. Uh, and uh, what I did over here is makeup is gain. So you're increasing the gain uh, because when you compress, you're reducing the volume. Unless you have automatic makeup gain, which this does not, uh, being as it's uh, an, an emulation of older gear, uh, which didn't have that type of automatic makeup gain. But it's easy enough just to dial it in here. Right, and that's basically, I'll turn it on enough. Right, boring. Uh, oh, another thing I should point out is uh, this, it has a uh, clip output and it's a very, very transparent clipping. So you won't go over zero. Uh, you can push this to the max and it'll obviously be get uh, perceivably louder but it's still transparent you won't get like you know that nasty full backer artifacts um, and uh, that's very positive uh, and it, you know allows you to get away with certain things uh, you know back in the day on those consoles they would boost the gain up and clip the snares through the consoles anyway so even then you're getting a cool sound Yeah, you can just bump it right up. If you want rock band, you're good to go. So, 
that would be uh, a drum section. Oh, what's really cool about the reset is you can reset, which uh, initializes it. But if you hit reset again, it goes back to where you were. And so, yeah, that's, you know, 80s. I'm going to do this just for fun. So uh, kind of a compressor like this uh, is the way the way you use it uh, for uh, instruments or um, audio tracks that go from quiet to loud, right? Kind of bounces around, see? Loud and then quiet and then loud and then quiet. Um, you really want to tame those peaks and you want the kind of compressor to ride onto it. Uh, so easy enough, uh, you can increase, especially on this compressor, you can increase the attack and uh, have a very fast release and it just kind of levels it out. It reduces the RMS so you know it's working. Oh yeah. You know it's, it's great for single sounds too and the grit just adds a bit more. It's kind of like something that hasn't been calibrated in a while. I like it. Uh, let's see here. What is this? I'll reset. Oh yeah, uh, I dropped this in here uh, just as, as another example of uh, quiet sounds. So I would have a very fast attack uh, just to get rid of a bit of these peaks just to kind of tame them out. I might want to turn it on. That button's very useful. Still keeping uh, the volume, the ba the perceived volume, but what I'm doing is these percussion hits are very like they t they just click right in, and uh, you may not want that. You know what I mean? Uh, so what it does, there's there's a very very heavy peak there, so you can use the compressor in in ways to uh, kind of tame that uh, specific transient once it gets over a certain kind of threshold. Yeah, sounds very. Just it just kind of grabs onto it and just you know keeps it, keeps it in line, uh, which you want when you're busy in your mix. Uh, and of course, as something that you could potentially put on uh, both tracks, or not both tracks, something you could put on an entire master uh, to uh, tame uh, dynamics and just to add a bit of. Uh, just a bit of sexiness to the track uh, in these compressors. These types of compressors have been used to do that. And even today, um, Swedish South Mafia and Steve Angelo and all those cool guys, they use the SSL G series, G something, G rack. It's a rack mount unit, uh, and it's taken right out of the uh, SSL 4000. Four and uh, this emulates it. Very nice, I, I should say. You know, there's quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of plugins out there, but this uh, sounds a bit more. It sounds a bit more reactive, uh, and it and it acts just just to how everything moves. It just reacts in a in a unique way. I'm I'm a big fan. Anyway, let's give this a try. So what we're gonna, what we want to do, uh, is move it up to uh, a four to one ratio or even a ten to one ratio, uh, and bring the threshold down. And let's see. Okay, let's bring let's bring this all the way down. Uh, different tracks and different BPMs to me they they kind of uh, act differently, or they they require uh, different. Uh, attack and release times, and, we'll, and of course, uh, how a compressor behaves depends largely on the the dynamics that you may or may not hear. And uh, it, you know, depends on the volume. What I'm doing is I'm listening and I'm looking at the needle. 
the the v the uv vu voltage unit i don't know what it's called i just call it yeah i guess i call it metering the needle so what i'll do is i'll squish the hell out of it and what you can do is you can hear the, the bass kick in uh, and that causes the compressor to uh, uh, the kick kicks in that kind of, that causes the compressor to react uh, and it, as it releases the bass well in dance music the bass will cause it to react again and uh, you can see that or you can hear it too and what that does is it just kind of smooths everything together and it sounds like one cohesive mix that's why they call them glue compressors so I bring the threshold uh, all the way back up and even when you bring it uh, back up uh, there's a there's a visual it's doing something already there's already an initial effect except for here you know and what it does it, it's still you know, reduces the volume, but you can uh, uh, throw a maximizer on after, or you can even, uh, uh, if you want, you can bring up the makeup gain. Generally, you don't want to peak. just sounds like one big cohesive mix it's very cohesive uh, and uh, you can get that on the t-rex custom shop by ik multimedia it's pretty fun you can even try it out too so give it a try you can uh, click on this little button here and you're good to go and uh, yeah that was my kind of rundown of this particular uh, vca uh, big fan uh, especially on things that need a bit of taming in my master bus and uh yeah hope you enjoyed it take care and uh have a good one